My name is Peter Rostovec and I have the uh, privilege of playing the part of Bully Worthen in WLMT's upcoming production of Driving Miss Daisy. Uh, Bully Worthen is the son of Daisy Worthen, uh, the woman who gets driven in this show. Bully's concerned about her welfare and her well-being because uh, she's prone to accidents and uh, he of course hires the driver Hulk and uh, it's the three of us on stage it's what's called a three-hander and uh, we tell this uh, incredible story about the relationship between uh, driver Hulk and Daisy Worthen. So is any of your life reflected in this show would you say? Well it's really interesting that you say that because uh, for a while I was a driver for my parents as they got older uh, carrying them about, taking them about where they're you know, about their business and you know doctor's appointments, things like that. And um, the scene is really interesting because you come to a point where you have to make some uh, very difficult decisions about your parents. Both my parents are gone now, uh, as is my sister. So it became very emotional for me. It became an emotional journey relating to uh, what happened to me in those days with them, and of course what happens to this character, Bully, who makes decisions on behalf of his mother. So you mentioned this play is a three-hander, so in that way it differs from the movie version. Uh, how, do you, how do three people tell this story? Well, it's interesting because uh, the, uh, uh, the playwright, uh, when he got to the point where he did the uh, stage adaptation, brought in more characters just to, just to uh, stretch out the story a little bit and, 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 and uh, populate it with more characters to make it a visual spectacle. But the three characters in this... Uh, Pulitzer Prize winning and Tony Award winning play um, tell the story uh, from the perspective of their own experience. Of course the main relationship is between uh, Daisy and, uh, and Hulk uh, as uh, their friendship develops you know, throughout the story in, in, uh, in a 90 minute play that spans 25 years. Bully is kind of like the Greek chorus. He kind of like, uh, short of being a narrator, he comes in and out and kind of moves the story along in terms of his own relationship with these two characters. Um, but between the three of them, uh, they address the issues, of course, of, uh, of racial prejudice, religious prejudice, uh, and the changing times of America during that 25 period, uh, right after the 25-year uh, period after the war. So I think it's uh, it's and it's an extraordinary play because it compresses time, but at the same time draws the audience in to uh, to an experience that many of them, I'm sure, have have seen. Uh, you know, through the media and through their own experiences as well. So you worked with and have known the director Mario Carnaval uh, for a long time. So what is it like to uh, experience working with him? Well, Mario and I go back to the Stone Age. Uh, we actually were in law school together and uh, have practiced as colleagues in this uh, in this uh, community. Um, Mario has uh, developed uh, a wonderful reputation as a great director and a promoter of the arts and especially promoting theater. And uh, I've always grown up loving theater, was an actor in high school, uh, did a lot of uh, you know, community work where I uh, did a lot of, uh, of, uh, of acting, uh, so to speak, in the various uh, um, uh, areas. Uh, but Mario got me involved in theater again, so it was, it was a wonderful reunion of sorts because I got the opportunity to work with him in some terrific shows. He cast me in uh, A Christmas Story as the old man. I loved that role and I really enjoyed uh, uh, playing the part of, uh, of uh, Ralphie's father in that famous uh, iconic uh, you know, Christmas story. And then we did uh, uh, Every Christmas Story Ever Told, which told all the Christmas stories uh, pretty well in a, in, in a short, uh, you know, wonderful, compact play. Um, Mario is a perfectionist. Um, uh, I want to say he's a taskmaster in, in a nice sort of way because he wants things right and he has incredible vision. And uh, to watch him work and to watch him work the actors, he gets the best out of us in terms of what we can do with, with our talent. Uh, it's truly a privilege to work with him and if, if there are other actors in this region who have that opportunity in the future, you know, you're going to really enjoy it because for me it's been an opportunity to, uh, to create some wonderful journeys in the theater uh, through his uh, great efforts and vision. So you've kind of touched on it, but what, what kind of satisfaction do you get out of working in theater that you wouldn't get in your normal working life? Well, I practice as a lawyer, and uh, people say, oh, lawyers are all actors. Well, we are and we aren't. I mean, we're, we're constantly, you know, communicating, we're very verbal. Uh, but uh, acting is, is a different sort of discipline. Um, it, it's, a, it's like team sports. You have to work with the other actors in order to get the story across. And, 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 and if people don't carry their weight, well, the thing falls apart. 
Um, in this uh, wonderful production, we've got three, uh, three uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, well-suited actors working with each other. I, I'm, I'm privileged to be working with uh, with Jim Walls and Norma Coleman. They're extraordinarily uh, talented. They've done uh, way more theater than I have, uh, but I've learned from them, learned from their experience, and uh, working together, uh, I think we create a formidable team. You know, like I said, we've got a great coach in Mario and and our producer uh, Ann Jamlin. We've got terrific people in this in in, in various roles, both on stage and off stage. Uh, to, uh, to give, I think, uh, local audiences uh, a great theatrical experience. So for me, in terms of the day-to-day, -day, uh, it, it's a nice diversion. I'm a lousy golfer, uh, so this is the kind of thing that I like to do. I love doing theater. It's a real passion. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? What would you like people to get out of this show? Well, first of all, it's an entertaining uh, uh, story. It's, 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 it's happy, it's sad, it's bittersweet, um, but it ends, I think, on a very uplifting note, uh, it's about friendship, and I think every it's about relationships. And people have uh, various kinds of relationships in their in their professional and their and their family and their social lives. Uh, I think they're going to see again, you know, a snippet of of, of social history, uh, of some difficult uh, issues that are addressed uh, in a uh, in a, a fundamentally um, uh, challenging but profound way. Uh, so I think at the end of the, the 90 minutes or so that they spend with us, they're going to walk away, I believe, very, very satisfied, and I think uh, with a sense that this is truly a memorable, memorable play. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Adam. Thank you.